Now suppose I want to uh, sort this data or I want to select a random sample of 30 from this data set. Okay, so now this is a random sample. You got uh, 150, the data 154 females and uh, this is a net worth. So it is a net worth is uh, your assets take away your liabilities. Okay, so the first female has a net worth of 509,000, the second female has 64,000. Now, <coughs> if suppose I want to select a random sample of whatever number from this population, uh, using simple random sampling. First, I'm going to generate random numbers. This is a excellent formula in Excel. So what you do is, you go always start with equal, R, A, N, D, bracket, close bracket. So this will generate random numbers uh, like this. If you press enter, this is a random number. Now, you've got numbers, if this is nine digit uh, random number. This each of the number has got equal chance of uh, occurring, so it's a uniform distribution. Now, if you click, if you highlight this data, and if you double click, catch the tail and do dub, uh, do double click. This will randomly generate. Now, this is this is random numbers. Okay, if you go scroll down to. 154. So all these are random numbers. Now you can also you can sort this. So and then you can sort this in from the smallest to the largest. You can do like this. Uh, highlight the top row and then go Control Shift and the down arrow. If you Control Shift down arrow, this will highlight the whole thing. Okay, so this is highlighted. And then if you go right click, and then you go sort from A to Z, smallest to the largest, this is smallest to largest. Now the problem is this is alive, this is alive. That means this number keeps on changing. Now, this is good enough. Suppose, can you see this is sorted from, this is a different order. You've got 137, 127, and so on. But we want to, if, if you click on this, if you change this, and if you enter, and uh, say, if you go double click on that, it'll keep changing. Okay, so if you go and uh, do some enter, so if you enter, uh, the numbers can change. Okay, so if you double click on that, you will get, get a new set of numbers. Now, I don't want these numbers to change, suppose. I want to keep this static. I want to change this into values. So first, highlight this cell and go Control Shift down arrow. So this will highlight the whole uh, random numbers. I want to change these random numbers into fixed values that, that will not change. Then you go right click and then you go Enter Copy. So this is highlighted and then you go to, this will become active. So click on paste and paste values. So one, two, three. If you click on that, this has changed into values now. This will not change now. Okay, so let me double click here. So if you double click on that, this has changed to the all same number. So let me go back. So let me do it again. So equal random, close the bracket. And then if you double click on that, it will, and then go right click, copy, and then change into values. So this has changed into values. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, so change this, so now you go highlight that, control shift, no, sorry, we need to highlight the whole thing, hold row. Control shift down and then sort from smallest to largest. So this has changed. You've got a new sample. So and then if you want to select the first 30, you can go one, two, three, highlight this and double click. So you can say this is the first 30. So if you 
this is the first 30 data so then you can work on this so you can again copy this open a new page and click somewhere there and then you can work on that so this is the this is a random sample of 30 I got from this sample set you can keep changing the formula so if you want to do it again you do, do the same thing equal rand open bracket close bracket enter sorry I put an a zero there close the bracket enter and then if you double click it and then copy first copy it and then this will become alive change it into values and then you can highlight the whole thing control shift down arrow right click sort from the largest to the smallest if you want and this you've got a new set of sample okay and then you can again you can take this and say highlight it you can highlight up to 30 up to 30 copy new open a new spreadsheet and paste it there so this is a random sample of th next 30 so this way you can get random samples of any number of or any number of random sample from a given set of data